We are live, guys. So what's going on? It's Bucky. And it's Lola. How's it going? And welcome to the very, I guess it's not the very first, the, second, the second web show. So uh, before I get started, I hope you guys noticed that we now have some awesome new posters in the background. We had a couple last time, but these two new ones finally came in. So enough with the wind turbines. And uh, another thing I want to mention, speaking of wind, we have a tornado warning right now. Oh, so geez. if I'm going to be really mad if the power goes out right in the middle That's of this. That's what I was thinking about before. Then the audio and the video and everything is just going to mess up. So I'll probably start crying. But anyways, if we like leave suddenly or something. That's what happened. We're going to die. Yeah. That we means have we're windows dead. in this. We're going to be cut with glass. And... Well, I was going to say if we cut out, the power is going to go out. But we might be dead too. So just oh, yeah. we got to prepare for everything. Are Did... you guys ready? Do you, get, do you hear that? Is that in the Sirens. Or? Oh, boy. This is a, not a good start. Uh-oh. That's great. They're is coming it, to get me and Bucky, actually. As soon as we start the web show. Perfect timing, guys. So, anyways, um, you know what I kind of feel like doing? I was going to start out with a story, but I kind of want to start out just taking a call. Just a random call. All right. So, Come on, callers. So, if anyone feels like calling, then you got to do so, like, in the next five seconds. Or else I'm just going to oh, go to the story. Got one. Hi, Justin. Oh, one second. What's going on, Justin? Hey, what's up? I like your cat picture, Justin. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, hey, uh, I know normally you guys uh, take some sort of off-the-wall questions, but uh, since uh, the majority of your website is devoted to computer stuff, uh, I was wondering how you felt about, uh, I guess, online ethics when it comes to things like hacking. Uh, do you think that we have the right to, uh, I guess, peer into the lives of government officials and stuff like that? Well, here's it. My, do you want to go ahead and take this one no, first? No, go ahead, Bucky. All right, here's the thing. My ideas on uh, hacking are uh, kind of weird because you say hacking, and whenever you say that, I'm thinking, like, should you have the right to, like, hacking to other people's bank accounts and stuff? And when you look at it like that, I'm saying, no, that's their personal stuff. Some people have the ability to do that, but, you know, that shouldn't be going on. But then you said, do we have the right to hack into, you know, government documents? And I kind of look at it like this. Everyone kind of looks in their mind that the government is on top of this pyramid and looking down on all the people. But the way I look at it, the people, it's the people's government we elected all those officials if they're doing some messed up stuff then we have the right to know that some stuff like military secrets and you know stuff that can harm our country like i don't know maybe the big raid on bin laden or whatever we shouldn't go ahead and you know spread all that over but when the government is like doing crooked stuff then yeah go ahead i don't want to say like hack them because you know this is going to be put on youtube but we you know, we elect the government. The government is there to protect us. So if it's doing something wrong, then, uh, yeah, we need to fight back. I would totally agree with you on that. And I was actually watching History Channel earlier today, and I was watching about ray guns that were being built by the military and all these different conspiracy shows. So, it was crazy, like the death ray. So uh, what's his Justin? Yeah, what's up? So, Justin, what do you think about it? Uh... Well, I mean, I kind of agree with you uh, in all honesty, but I mean, like, I don't know. To me, I think, I don't think I'm, I'm a conspiracy theorist where I think, like, the government's out there trying to get us or that they're trying, you know what I mean? Like, there, there's no, like, evil force that's screwing us over, but I don't think that there's enough accountability uh, inside of the government just because of the ties. I mean, if you think oh, about yeah, it. yeah, there's definitely not. If I mean, if, like, for instance, if you're at work and you got a buddy and you see him, like, take two bucks out of the cash register you kind of don't report him because he's your buddy. I mean, you know you shouldn't, you know it's wrong, but you kind of just say, ah, two bucks. I think the same sorts of things happen in the government, and then, you know, you might do something wrong. It, so it just sort of builds on each other. I don't think that there's enough accountability, so I think when you have, like, hackers uh, that go in and, you know, come out with one gig of documents from uh, yeah, defense yeah. contractors uh, showing that, they're, you know, they're selling things like... Uh, uh, drones, like, uh, you know, manless drones to, uh, government agencies that work in America. I mean, you know what I mean? It's the government it, it, is full of crooked people. I am telling you, I will say this right now. The most crooked people are the most wealthy. I mean, I'll say this. They not are. Crooked. They're the most powerful. 
the most the people who commit the most crime are the very very wealthy and the very very poor and it's kind of like this i'm, I'm kind of going off from your question now but now you got me talking whenever we elect government officials it's kind of like you know when people complain oh you voted for this guy why are you complaining that he you know we pretty much vote for representatives to make decisions for us but it's not like you can go ahead and vote for anyone you need a lot of money to run for government so the only people that are ever going to get elected are very rich people already and it's it's not like we can pick from a lineup of our ideal candidates it's like we have a lineup of a couple rich douchebags that we have to pick that from. That we really don't like and none of us really want to vote anyways, but it's our patriotic duty to exactly. do so. Exactly, and it's like we have to pick the most least douchebag who gets <laughs> the rule over everyone, and that's the way it is because you can only run and get elected if you're rich already. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of getting off from your question now, but I hope we answered it. That was a good question. Thanks, Justin. All right.